What is up, Marvel Universe fanatics? It is Ashrock back with another review. This is going to be on the Marvel Infinite series Cyclops and his astonishing X Men costume. My personal favorite costume. I know that's sacrilegious to all the Jim Lee fans. I love the Jim Lee version, don't get me wrong, but this one here is really where Cyclops became, I feel like, one of the best leaders in the game um, in the Astonishing X Men run. So I will be comparing him to the Jim Lee version at the end. A little bit of difference here and there, obviously, other than the paint schemes. But let's start off with paint applications. So paint, he is just decked out in pure dark blue throughout and gold trimming. I thought the gold trimming came out gorgeous. This was obviously supposed to be part of a three-pack, an Uncanny X-Men three-pack with Emma Frost and I believe Wolverine. Could be wrong, maybe it was another character. Uh, you guys can correct me if you'd like. I didn't do any research, so sorry. But instead, they put him in a single-carded version. Anyways, back to the paint. So, yeah, I mean, real simple colors throughout. I mean, nothing over the top. We can zoom in on the head sculpt really quick. So that sculpt, I thought, came out real nice, real simple. A little bit of paint blotch right there. You can see that plastic, that hanging plastic goo kind of does stand out. It makes him, like, he has a square jaw, which is not too bad, but... And then the symbol on the, you know, on his chest there, the X piece, I thought came out really nice. But this is definitely my favorite Cyclops costume of all time. So for paint applications, I'm actually going to give him an 8 out of 10. I thought they did a really good job with the simplicity. The Marvel Legends version is a little different. He has stripes throughout the gold pieces. That's pretty much the difference. Um, and it is more of a dull yellow here, whereas uh, this guy has a more of a metallic finish on his, um, on the gold. So, but let's move on to articulation so he, they did use a newer mold the newer mold ball joint up here ball joint hinge upper bicep single joint elbows rotates at the wrist he does have the two finger thing going on right here that he uses either for his visor or for emma frost hey oh uh he's got the waist articulation upper ab crunch he's got a ball joint hinge on the head so really nice there upper leg uh, thigh, double jointed knees, rotates at the calf, okay, and he's got the ankle rockers as well, so obviously immaculate when it comes to the articulation, articulation it will be a 8 out of 10 as well, I wish the one thing with certain characters like this guy for instance, I wish they would have given him a, given him a hinge for the, uh, the wrist, that would have been nice to give him a little bit more posability options when trying to use the visor, because when you try to use it, it usually does that. It's really difficult to get it on there, or maybe giving him a double jointed elbows to really get uh, closer to the head. But nonetheless, final score on this guy is going to be an 8 out of 10. I think this is a great figure and a welcome addition to the X-Men team, especially the Astonishing X-Men. Now, all we need now really is Emma Frost, which is supposed to be part of that three-pack. Hopefully, they'll release her in a single carded version, which I think they will. I think it makes sense that they would, uh, especially if they made it in mass production. And the Emma Frost looks actually really nice as well, so I'm hoping that it comes out. And then we will have an entire Astonishing X-Men team, finally. But um, nonetheless, a great figure right here. Get it if you're a Cyclops fan. I'm a huge fan of Cyclops, always was, but this one here is my favorite. Let's compare him to the Jim Lee version. So here's the Jim Lee version um, that came out a couple years back in the Marvel Universe line. Classic figure nonetheless, don't get me wrong. I just like this one. I like it because of how significant it is when uh, he really made his change in terms of, you know, kind of the Boy Scout leader, which is over here, to like, fuck you, Charles Xavier. I'm going to lead this shit. I'm putting together X-Force. I'm going to do whatever I have to do to make sure mutants survive. And that's what you saw here. He was definitely much more of a vocal, straightforward, kind of a dickhead leader. But, you know, as a leader, sometimes you have to be a little mean and you can't, you got to step on some toes and you got to do what you got to do. Uh, um, you know, in some cases, the ends do justify the means, depending, obviously. Over time, he did lose, uh, use it way too much. And I thought he got on a power trip. Um, but uh, anyways, I'm going on a tangent. I could talk about comic books all day, too. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this. I can... I can go on forever about the comic books, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching as always. Remember to laugh every day. I'll talk to you guys next time. Deuces.